Sports Illustrated story on you this week? I did. I saw some of it. I didn't read the whole thing. You I saw ever, some bits and pieces of it. Do you like to read about yourself at all? Uh, not all the time. Uh, I try to stay away from it because uh, I just try not to think about it because I know I still have a lot to work on and I try to, just try to focus on the year and now. So. Where have you improved in the past two years? As far as, uh, as, far as my game, uh, became more versatile, more confident, uh, you know, in my abilities and what I can do. And I'm still working on that. Uh, and just the locals, you know, that's where I need to get better at. How frustrating was it as you're trying to improve with like the injury that your junior year and not playing the time? I mean, how, how oh, tough was it? I mean, it was pretty tough, you know, watching my teammates every single day uh, playing and me knowing that I wanted to be out there, but I couldn't. So it was really hard. Uh, you know, it was just something that I had to go through and, you know, it's, uh, yeah, I'm here now, so it's in the past. So how do you improve your game when you're when you're sitting down? When you're, I mean, how do you, how do you get uh, better the way you, you did? Uh, watching basketball, you know, I learned a lot from watching. Even growing up, I didn't practice every day uh, with my situation in Haiti, so I learned a lot by just watching the game. So I'll watch the TV, rewind something that I saw like five, six times, learning from it. So I learned a lot by watching too. You looking at certain players, or you just uh, randomly? I watch a bunch of guys, but you know my favorite player growing up was Kobe. So like his face-up game and all that. So I watch that. Uh, guys like Tim Duncan and uh, Dirk, uh, Anthony. So I watch a bunch of those guys. How, what have you learned uh, the most in your short time of doing the practices and working with Cal? Here, yeah. Oh, uh, you know how intense it is. You know, nothing compares to the practices here. I've never done that before in my life. So it was definitely challenging the first couple practices because of how intense it was. And Cal asked a lot out of us, you know, the, uh, the whole time we're in there. So we really have to pay attention to every detail and give our best effort, like the whole practice. So uh, it was kind of challenging at first, but I'm getting used to it now. Have you, did you get a lot of that from Sunday's practice as well? Uh, I did. <laughs> yeah. So, so. What was that like? Were you guys, I know you were aware that it was on TV. Oh, uh, I mean, uh, it was just another practice for us, you know, we're trying not to pay attention to it, we're just trying to get better still. So, uh, you know, it was all about getting better and uh, showcase, showcasing our skill set. So. Cal talked about getting the best versions of, of all the players and yourselves. What do you think he means by that? You know, just pushing us every single day, you know. Uh, he's, he's teaching us how to give our best every day. Uh, you know, he wants the best out of us whenever we come here, our best effort. and. Uh, <coughs> You know, just listen to what he has to say. What, how do you elevate your game when it comes to that? Like, what do you, uh, or what are you focusing on? Like, uh, just listen to Cal, whatever Cal, or Coach Cal asked me to do. So that's the only way I can see. That's the only thing I can do. <laughs> how has Tyler Olis helped you guys, the freshmen off the court? How has he helped you guys get comfortable? Uh, he's helped us a lot. You know, he's a uh, great leader on and off the court. Especially on the court, you know, uh, whenever I don't understand anything, I can go to him and ask him, you know, uh, how, how do you do this? Uh, you know, like I ask him a lot of questions and he always helps me, tell me where to be on the court. So uh, he's been a really good leader so far. Do you think it's rare for a, a sophomore like him to have that kind of leadership? I think, I think it's rare because uh, he's the one guy I practice whenever he talks, like everybody listens to him, you know. So he's shown so far that he can uh, be a great leader in this team. Have you ever been around a player like that? In uh, teams? Never, never. He's uh, probably the best point guard I ever played with. Uh, the way, just the way he controls the flow, uh, flow of the game and sees everything, and not just that. He's just a, he's a vocal leader too. So uh, I've never played with a point guard like this. You probably got a taste of it during the camp out, but how yeah. excited are you to kind of see the fans at Madness? I'm very excited. You know, it's my first time uh, doing this. Uh, I'm excited to see. Uh, the craziness of Big Blue Nation. So, and the other so guys told you what to expect? They told me, but there's no way to prepare for it. So I, I just, <laughs> it's my first time, so I can't wait to see. Have you watched like. it on TV in your I seen it. Uh, I seen the one from last year. So. Do you have your song picked out? I did. Uh, can you tell? I can't tell right now. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do a dance? Yeah, uh, I don't know about that. I'll, I don't think I can do this for that many people. So. <laughs> Thanks. So.